new job. That appears to be what many of us are thinking. Some put the number of job seekers this month at one in four. We live in a world where if you want to move up, you're often encouraged to move on, but not everywhere. Our business correspondent, Alistair Fee, has been to a company in Hampshire with possibly the most loyal workforce in the South. Sharon, 38 years. Julie, 36 years. Andrew, 35 years. Maggie, 33 years. Janice, 33 years. Karen, 25 years. Miriam, 25 years. That's 225 years service between them. Barnbrook Systems has made a name for itself, making technology for the rail and aircraft industries, but also prides itself on employee retention. Andrew, who started work at 16, is entering his 36th year. I think with the skill sets we have here and the training we have here, I think people will stay as long as maybe I have. Sharon came here for an interview in the early 80s and never left. It is the people that I work with, the company here, I like doing what I do, I enjoy doing what I do, and it's the variety of things I do. I'm just happy here. These stories are increasingly unusual. Research suggests the average worker will change job every five years, with many moving even more frequently. People don't often leave for money, actually. Um, people do often leave for uh, the fact that they're not clear on the company's visions and where the company is going. Money is a part of it, obviously. But I think it's more about career progression and personal development is, is very key in these generations. What started in 1979 with two now employs 50 with a multi-million pound turnover. Quality is about people. Processes support that. Processes are not the edicts by which you can actually do things per se. In a fully automated factory, of course, you haven't got that issue because it's fully automated, it's like the car industry. So I believe certainty is what people are looking for as best as we're able to provide it in the world. While some research estimates a quarter of people are unhappy in their role, that's certainly not true here. Perhaps the ultimate test will be if the latest intake of graduates are still loyal to this company a few decades from now. Alastair Fee, BBC South Today.